DB Sar here again. Uh, what you're looking at here is a hurricane lantern, but this hurricane lantern is much smaller than you actually anticipate. It's actually pocket size. So yeah, so let's get to um, the video. And what we're doing tonight is a lot of people have been asking about this video, in particular regarding the uh, the micro lanterns that uh, I've been building and modifying and designing over a while. Uh, just re disregard this little tea light candle. We're just using that as a reference shortly. But anyhow. Let's start off with some micro lanterns, <clears throat> shall we? Okay, one of the first ones that I've did that I found kind of handy. Um, we're all familiar with the uh, the fox, and I think it was what we call it. It's just these usually came with two tw CR twenty sixteen batteries in series, and a horribly blue tint LED um, that ran for roughly maybe six to seven hours, I think, runtime, and then they were what they were dead. So the simple modification I did with these. <clears throat> is use a single CR2032, which comes at 3.2 volts. And most 5 millimeter LEDs, especially good quality ones, and in particular, in this case, uh, I used the 34K or 3400K high CR ones that was available from the member on BLF forms, <coughs> RNGWN. Uh, these things have a great tint. They're high CRI. They actually, you know, the, the color rendering is absolutely beautiful. I think they're like 95, 96 CRI, and they're great. And what I discovered them, they're very, very, the efficiency is much higher. So these will run much brighter than the factory five millimeter. They actually give off quite a bit of lumens, lumens. <clears throat> not as much as what the Nightcore, um, the little Nightcore one that had one, but still, uh, these are quite nice <clears throat> with these LEDs. So it's an easy swap to swap that uh, high CRI LED in there. And by running it off one CR2032, lowers the voltage closer to the forward voltage of the LED meaning there's less amp draw. So the amp draw direct drive I was getting from this was like 0 0.03, I think, or 0 0.02. So when on, the test that I've been getting of this thing, it's been running, they would run for like 12 to 14 hours at you know, good light, then it would gradually diminish from there. And uh, it was you'd still get like, from 30 hours later, you would still get a reasonable amount of light that you could see what you need to do in emergency. So I made these, or I should say modified these from the Foxons with those LEDs. A simple paracord and a little clip, locking clip uh, uh, lanyard in that I use. And I place them on all the zippers of my coats, <coughs> various bags, things like that. Uh, my coat actually should be one over here. You probably can't see it, but there's one hanging on the zipper of my winter coat that I was wearing tonight, which has these. So these things, you could, you know, throw these things in your pocket, in your coat, things like that. In an emergency, you could, you know, hang them up on a the ceiling or hang them a tree or something at a camping place if you're living with gear and these will give you a good bit of light and the, the what i like about the cr 2032s is the fact that they're the size of a quarter you know you can pack a lot of those in a very small space so yeah so this is just one example of one of my little mini modify modify lights that uh, we did okay next on with the cr 2032 lights uh, a lot of people have been asking about a certain particular one that would fit in a wallet uh, basically this is the most recent rendition that i have here i bought these dual tw tw cr2035 or cr2025 holders from ebay i think for like 10 for like a couple bucks and they came with a built-in switch and so i modified them with a lanyard and the, the two cells but I, I completely changed the actual pattern inside of the actual wiring so instead of running two CR2032s in in series, it runs them in parallel, meaning it can run on one, and you can have a second one with a piece of paper or a tab, so the second one becomes a spare. I mean, you can run on one, and then if that one goes dead, you have a spare one to back up. Or you can take the piece of paper and run them both in parallel and double the runtime. Now, from the runtime test that I've gotten when I ran this, uh, we'll get to the LED that I used shortly. Uh, let's see what we did here. I think it was, yeah, running on 120, one CR2032 with the remote phosphor 5 minute LED, uh, old black cell type case, running on 122, I got 12 hours of good light, meaning it didn't dim very much after 12 hours. Now, this is resistored, by the way, it's not direct drive, so it's got a slight resistor in it to lower the, the uh, current slightly, and around 12 hours, 24 hours, medium dimmer, about the same as a candle halfway through. And then 30 plus hours dimmer, but still usable light, tea light candle on um, amount of light, maybe less. And it finally went out after roughly 60 hours, which is kind of impressive, on one cell, the size of a nickel. Uh, so yeah, the, basically what, what these are is basically, it'll, I've had this in my wallet and it fits here, no problem. It's 
roughly four and a half millimeters thick so you can actually fit it in one of the sleeves of your wallet or any small place and it's um it's got a single switch on it and with the resistor it's actually quite bright now we'll get to these kind of interesting leds that i found i found these from solar lamps that i got from walmart i've never seen them before let's see if i can zoom in on this thing from here uh there we go it's a five millimeter led in warm white but it has what seems to be a remote phosphor the phosphor is actually in the actual acrylic material not embedded in a cup above the actual led diode uh, substrate itself so the entire thing is a is a phosphor so what i've discovered with these things is that they are basically the closest thing i've ever found to a small incandescent bulb meaning if you lay it against a piece of paper or something background if you look closely let me hold this a little differently the light is literally 360 degrees around the led in all directions it doesn't matter it's like it, most leds are one directional only or at least limited direction but they, these things illuminate in all directions and it's a really nice warm white i don't know what the cri is but from what i've seen it's actually pretty good it compares to the to the um the 34k high cri ones that i got from um, the member on, on, on the blf so i really like these and so i bought a whole bunch of these led lights and stripped out a bunch of the stuff and uh, changed the bulb from there to these because i wanted these to use some different lanterns so yeah so these things are very unique as you look if i turn it, it it's the same brightness all the way around and what i will do is i will post pictures um in the actual topic that i'd be posting with the micro lanterns on 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 close-ups of these actual bulbs or these leds because they're kind of unique whereas most five millimeters you have to hold them front on to get a light at them whereas these things sideways the light is equal all the way around so yes and these these are, these are great so it's, it's like an incandescent bulb but in led form and i find that they're very efficient they will run at a low very low voltage so basically <clears throat> we have this little lantern let me turn off some of the other lights that's running in the background here and compared to a uh, tea light, it's probably twice as bright. At least twice as bright. Yeah. It's like, now this is running off a single CR2032 that I probably have already run for a couple hours from testing, other stuff like that. But yeah, it's probably twice as bright as what a candle is. So I'm guessing two candle power. I don't know what the luminous with these things is. But remember, this thing will run for 20 hours <clears throat> and it doesn't seem to dim very much. And it'll go for like 30 plus, 40 plus hours at a, you know, at a slowly, continuously dimming rate. So it's basically brighter than a tea light <clears throat> or a candle and run... 10 times longer now if, if you take oops sorry it, it kind of hit the camera there if you take the um, the piece of paper out and so it runs in two parallel these will run twice that time you're looking at uh 40 hours uh, before it will dim because you're looking at two parallel uh cr 2032s instead of a single so yeah so these things are you know it's quite neat how i do these things you could hang it in a tree hang it on a wall just lay it down on table you know stand on its edge and you have a nice bit of light so you can see that it's not quite as warm as a candle because it's 30 it's 30 this one is i think it's rated that that uh, it looks like it'd be around 34 35k whereas a candle is closer to you know 20 25 or 23k or 2000k or even 18k because you know they're different color and light but uh, but yeah it's 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 a really nice tint so yeah so this is basically what we have um let me turn the lights back on so you can see what we have here so this is the little wallet one that i made it's probably the smallest and most useful and i made a bunch of these and i keep them i keep one in my wallet and i keep a bunch in the like my bug out bag and my little just daily carry bag I, you know they're in pack sacks just random places uh just to open this thing up let's see if i can find the edge of it now these are found on ebay i can find the link for you and post so basically what we have in here is two cr 2032s and why i just took it was a piece of paper so that it's only running on the one and this one right now is just a spare meaning once this one goes dead i can switch over or i can run them both in, in together and just double the runtime so it doesn't really matter so but in the meantime i just kept one as a spare 
and they're roughly about 4.5 millimeters thick and with a little lanyard attached to it and a built-in switch yeah these things um you know hanging on a tent hanging on a ceiling even it'll give you enough light to see where you're going or if an emergency you're in your car or something like that and you get into a snowstorm or trap somewhere like that pull out of your wallet and you have a light it'll actually give you a couple nights worth of light and uh, yeah so this is probably my favorite new wallet size that could fit a tiny compact lantern because it, you know it's it's all directional so yeah so that's one example so we're going to push oops, i keep hitting the camera my bad uh, so, so we're going to push that one aside <coughs> and let's go to some of the older versions of these again it's the same design package but i just used a um a high cri square uh, smd led that came from a um a light and just it basically okay this one has the batteries has a bit low but yeah so it's um it's the same idea but this one's 4k so it's a little different tint yeah so it's but it's the same idea you just hang it on a wall like that and it gives you light you know in a room things like that so this was one of the first experiments again a 22 ohm resistor uh again going back to this one there's a 22 ohm resistor in here between that and the, and the battery and i found that the resistor dim the led brightness output a little bit but not too much uh maybe dimmed it 20 percent, but it doubled the runtime uh, yeah so and here's another example basically this one is the same type of battery pack and the same type of led but it uh, it's, it runs a 20 tone resistor and has a switch on it so i made this one it's like a book light you can put it between your pages and see what you're doing or you can just use it as a, as a table lamp so yeah so basically you lay it down it's a piece of what you call dynamite wire, single solid core copper. So you can adjust it and it's like a, you know, a desk lamp sort of thing. So you can lay it on something and it will make the entire area just like that. So yeah, so this, this again, is something that can um, fit in your wallet. But what I did with this is just basically it folds down, folds flat. And I have a bunch of these made that I place in, you know, my some of my emergency kits, survival kits, things like that. Uh, my backpack, fishing backpack. So it fits inside this little little kit here. And uh, this little bag that I made, which is nylon, right? I call it mini mini lamp. So this is pretty flat. It's pretty small. It's the size of a, uh, you know, a pack of Wrigley's gum, I guess. Yeah, so there, that's basically the same idea. Okay. Next, we're going to move on to single... Uh, battery ones, ones with standard batteries. Uh, some of these were like the, you know, the MXDL three watt single double, a single AAA battery one. Uh, all I did with these is place a lanyard on the hand. These are basically hanging lanterns, and I use the, you know, the Luxian bead and warm white on one end. I place a resistor on the driver to lower the amp draw from 0 0.50 or a half amp down to 0 0.11. Uh, so basically, you get the similar to put it as the other one. Maybe a little bit more, uh, but you, you get around probably eight to ten hour runtime out of a single double A alkaline, so it's not bad. So you can hang these things up on the ceiling, you know, to give you a bit of light, or backpacking things like that. Hang them on a tree. Um, it's pretty small. It's not much bigger than a cigarette or a cigar. So that's just one example of that. Uh, here's another one I built a while ago with a, with a, the uh, pocket clip on it. It's the same idea. Oh, I don't know if there's a battery in this one. Nope. Actually, there is. Yeah. Okay. It was it, it was locked out. Okay. Yeah. So it's the same idea, but I put a little diffuser on the end. You probably can't really see that, but it's the same type of LED inside that. It's a single double A, uh, tail switch clicky, and the lanyard, which is a power cord with the plastic hooks I bought from eBay. Uh, basically, so you can clip it on you know, your tent thing, or your jacket. And it has like a bit of a beam pattern downwards, so it's a, it's like a hanging lantern. These and this one, I did modify the driver, so it runs for about five to six hours. So it's it's actually not bad for brightness. Yeah, so that's a, a AAA. I've also made a AA version out of some generic ones that I picked up from somewhere. The same LED again, the warm white Luxian bead, which because I like I used to like these because they give a really wide angle of light dispersants and not directly straight forward because you know they're basically uh, probably can't see it. Yeah, because the uh, has the the phosphor as a dome so it gives you a really wide angle so i place a little glass protector around it uh, this one's a double a and i resist it so this one gets much more runtime because the double a has much more capacity uh, it has a driver a boost driver i think like a jewel teeth type style driver so it'll run on a nickel metal hydride or alkaline and uh, it's not bad for brightness it's pretty good it's probably 
10 lumens, I guess. It's good for about eight hours, seven hours on that. And before the battery shuts down, because basically what happens to these, I find, is that they'll dim slightly and then they'll just shut off when the battery goes dead. But yeah, I did the same thing. Lanyard and the hook that I can clip on to, uh, you know, a hook or keychain or something like that. And yeah, that's just another example of a hanging lantern. Uh, so yeah, so the hanging lanterns ones, uh, we still have a few more of those. This one was just a random flashlight. And this one also has that really nice high CRI 34K LED that came from the member RNGWN on BLF, which is a 5mm LED. You can't see it in there, but uh, yeah, it has a really nice tint. It's 34K. It's high CRI. So basically, I just basically change the resistor in it to lower the output slightly. I think I put a, a 2 ohm resistor or something like that. So it gets roughly around 2 hours out of a AAA battery. So we have this just this little sleeve that fits over it on the side. It stays there all the time. So I just take that off. And this is just a piece of plastic that I found uh, because it has the right translucence. It came, actually it's a cork out of a wine bottle, the plastic cork. I cut it off and I just basically turn it around this way and you have a diffuser. So it illuminates more, a little more on the side around. Plus it has a bit of downlight. So you can hang this one high up in a tree or something like that. And you give you a bit of light. So yeah, so this is just another example of a mini lantern that I built or modified. Again, same type of lanterns. I really like these hooks because you can hook them on anything. And paracord, which you can get anywhere. And this one has an interesting tail clicking switch protruding through. Yeah. So yeah, so that's another example of the single round cell type. Okay, let's move on to some that we're familiar with also. Uh, I know people have reviewed these AMI, I think, uh, AKO2 type lights. They're technically CR123 or 16340 cells. Right now I have an old Trustfire CR123A in there. That's probably low on voltage because it's been in there for probably seven or eight years. Um, basically what I do with this is that they come with that horribly blue tint light again so i modify it with one of those beads and i place a resistor in it because these things don't have a driver they're direct drive so what the resistor does it just increases the runtime and lowers the output slightly just so that it's um, more practical for a small hanging lantern so you basically these have a twisty lock-in thing and there you go roughly around six to ten lumens it's hard to tell with a nice warm tint so you can hang these you know from a tree or from your tent this one just has like a clip up in the end or i don't know if these will tail stand i think they will tail stand yeah they will tail stand but yeah so there you go these are these were available i don't think they are i think there's some generic ones now available like that of this style on uh, various websites um but these are kind of cool but yeah so i have a few of these modified and another variant of that, which was slightly smaller, Bass Pro Shop sold them, but now you can get them at dollar stores. These were similar to what this is, but instead of using a CR123, they used three uh, LR41 alkaline cells, which I don't like because of the fact that if you leave them in there for a couple of years, they'll leak and they'll corrode the crap, and they have a low runtime. So I resisted this one back, but the same type of LED, it works. This was one of my first experiments with one of these, so it does work. It's, it has a nice diffuser gives off a nice warm weight because it has a warm weight lux into it it gives a runtime of roughly around two hours maximum one and a half bright two hours maximum three hours it gets pretty dim but that's pretty much what you're going to get out of lr41s anyway or lr44 is my mistake lr44s don't have much of a runtime so yeah so these are basically but you know they're basically cells the size of an aspirin kind of thing right and it takes three of them. So yeah, so it's it's something, you know, you can get these at a dollar store and I was thinking for two bucks. And you know, it's an easy to modify. You can modify the thing with a 10 cent LED and a, and a five cent resistor or a two cent resistor and uh, add the simple lanyard. And that's what you got, which is slightly smaller. Yeah, it is slightly smaller, shorter, a little smaller diameter. Uh, Brightness wise, I think it's probably less. Yeah, definitely less. So yeah, but it, uh, but again, this was one of my first experimentations of that. Okay, next up was something I found at a store recently. It's called a Nebo um, 
It's an oddball. It's magnetically controlled. It has a magnet in there. And it's basically a... Uh, I think it's a... Not a TRL, but a... Um, what is it? Oh, I keep forgetting what they call those things. But yeah, anyhow. Basically, it has an extension that you pull out. It's a little stiff because there's a rubber O-ring in there. It needs some grease. So basically, when you pull this thing off, it becomes a lantern. These were for sale for like 6 or $7. And the magnet shuts it off. It has a magnetic switch. And basically, when it's in there, it's a flashlight. These also run on the LR44s, which is not the best runtime uh, by any means. But uh, it was one I bought for 5 bucks. Modified chain. I put a... Uh, LR351 LED in there and um, high CRI I think in 3k and it uh, increased the um, the tint much much better which is hard to tell but yeah this is what you got and it basically becomes from a flashlight to a lantern yeah, a spheric. That's the name I was looking for. Sorry, I don't know how I forgot that. But yes, it's a tiny spheric flashlight lantern. It's called a pop light. I don't know. I picked it up in some store somewhere. A pop light Nebo. Nebo pop light. But yeah, it's just another one that I converted to a lantern. So you can hang it in a tree. But the only thing is when you hang it in a tree, you got to hang it basically with something else. Because you can't use this on it. Because it turns it off when, as soon as you put it in. This is how it activates. So yeah, it's it's kind of an oddball. Uh, <clears throat> we'll go on then now to some other ones. Uh, this was just a, a three double line or three triple line uh, light that I made up. The same idea, basically, it's a twist on and off. This will get the. Uh, actually, I don't think there's batteries in this right now. I'm not sure. Yeah, let me check and see if there's batteries. I think there is. Yeah, there is. So, yeah, the twist on and off right here. It's roughly maybe 15, 20 lumens, something like that. So, yeah, you can stand it like that, or you can stand it like this, or hang it up. And again, it has the has a metal clip, uh, carabiner thing, the lanyard. So it hangs direct, and basically it's just you know, roughly the same limbs. It's also got the warm LED. So this was one that was made up from a flashlight. I think it was a flashlight head on this. It was a Philips thing that was bought somewhere in a store. And it's three uh, AAAs, so yeah, that's the downfall of the AAA batteries. But it'll run on nickel metal hydride as well. It's got a driver in it. And that's you know another one of the compact ones I made. Uh, <clears throat> some other modifications he went to was basically here's another one, uh, the Garrison. It was basically I put a Nichia 219 in here, which has a, a TR optic. It, this one's interesting because I modified it had it had really cool blue LEDs on each side, but I modified it with one single one of those warm white beads. Um, to switch over, you just have to lay it down and let go. It's like, it has a touch control, which is kind of unique. I found this at Canadian Tire on sale for at a hardware store uh, called Canadian Tire. I think it was for like $9. I said, well, change the LEDs because they're all cool blue. Runs off a single AA battery. It gets roughly around four hours runtime here, and I modified this so it gets around six hours runtime. Uh, so, yeah, so it's, it's not bad. It's pretty bright, you know, for camping, backpacking. It'll give you, let me just turn off some of the other lights here. Just to give you an idea. Yeah, so it eliminate, you know, a table, things like that, as most of these will. Then yet, then you have the flashlight, which is uh like that. When you lay it down, it becomes a directional lantern, or if you hang it up, it's a directional lantern. So it's it's kind of a unique, different, different thing. Yeah, so this was something that I modified. Again, warm white, high CRI, Nietzsche 219 on the front. So yeah, here's another one of these little ones that used to be sold on eBay, Amazon. They take two CR 2032s. I modified it to take a single one and use one for a spare, just like I did with the flat one. And it also uses one of those high, uh, these remote phosphor LEDs. Uh, basically, just a switch on it turns it on. So again, it's the same brightness. You know, it turns lights off. It's the same brightness. Actually, a little more, much brighter than a uh, tea light, which went out, actually, <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah, these are one of these little, little corner ones. So they were originally had an LED in the bottom up firing, and they always caused glare. They were like horribly blue. So I put the uh, the other one on the top facing downward. But what I also did with this is I added a 300 
300k or 300,000 ohm resistor, which that's why I said earlier about these LEDs being very, very efficient. So with the 300,000 ohm resistor, it still glows, which is surprising. Now, when I discovered some of the tests I've been doing, I've, I have a test I've been doing on one of these since last year. Um, a CR20 through with the 300,000 or 300k resistor, 180 watt resistor. And it's still glowing a year later, and the voltage is still at 3.12 volts for the cell. So my calculation is these things would run for five or six years as a moonlight or a nightlight, basically. It's, you know, it's hard to tell. It looks brighter in the camera than it actually is, but it's, it's basically a very small glow. So it's easy to find. And you click the switch, then it goes much brighter. Yeah, so these things, you know, basically it's a nice little mini lantern. That'll light up an area. Like that, and you know, it's basically something that uh, was one of my also one of my favorites that I keep in, in for backpacking. And again, CR2032 cells, you know, you can pack a stack of those in, in a small case, you know, one of those double 18650 cases, you can pack like 40 of them in there, right? So these cells, you know, you'd have enough batteries to last you a year, you know, for nightly use on these things. And the same thing with this one, this is what I did with this little miniature hurricane lamp. Whereas, you know, as you can see, the medium-sized hurricane camp is much bigger. And this was a smaller one. I don't have batteries in these right now. But this is a uh, a small hurricane lamp, which I did the same thing with. And same resistor. I think it was 400K. So it has a glow, basically, as you can see. So it's it's like a nightlight. Same type of LED, which is a remote phosphor 5 millimeter, which I can't seem to source anywhere. So if anybody can source these things... These things are great, especially for these kind of purposes. And, uh, and they have a nice warm weight. Now, now, basically, what this used to be was a pencil sharpener. I placed a cell behind here. There's just a little plug you pull out and replace one cell. Uh, this is where, where the hole was, where the pencil was sharpened. I removed all the guts, placed a switch in there, and there you go. So you have a, a tiny pocket-sized hurricane lantern. So it's a bit of a nostalgic thing here. And, again, it's brighter than a tea light. And... Uh, Again, it has a two, 22 ohm, 1 8 watt resistor, so it's it's good for 20 hours, and it'll gradually dim from that, right? Which is which is quite impressive for what this thing is. And, uh, you know, these things, I made a bale handle for it, so it falls down. It literally fits in the palm of your hand, so it's so tiny. Uh, disregard, I squashed my finger a couple of weeks ago. But, the yeah. And again, this has been glowing now since last year. I put the battery in it for last year, and it's been glowing ever since. Uh, it looks brighter in, in the camera. But it's actually, you know, it's a, it's basically like a very, very firefly glow, not a moonlight. It's dimmer than a moonlight. It's more like an actual, like a firefly if you would see one. And that applies to both of these, right? They're both been doing that. These have been built a year ago. This one actually been a year and a half ago, and they're running on the same cells I put into them. So yeah, so they glow. And if you want, you know, full brightness, click that switch. And there you go. And you click this one over here. There you go. Then you have um, these tiny super pocket lanterns which are kind of neat and it takes up small space so those aside uh some other ones i did this was an interesting one uh i don't know if dollar tree in the u.s sold these things here in canada they do for a dollar they basically had a front led they take one double a battery and uh, they had some kind of a driver so basically i have like, just a crappy alkaline in there a single double a battery so what i did with this you know for the price this is probably the most budget thing i ever did um, it was a dollar. I placed one of those uh, warm, or not warm white, but actual cool white 4K um, Luxian beads I bought, the generic ones, which are like, you can get them for like $4 for a pack of 100. So it's literally pennies for those. And the same thing here. I put the warm white versions here in place of the actual strip one because these both hands had really, really cold white ones. So yeah, so basically on this end, you have a neutral white, not high CRI, but it's a nice tint. And if you can see it, you know, has reasonable throw. It's not very bright. It looks brighter in the camera than it actually is, but it's probably around maybe 25 lumens, 20 lumens, for what it is. And then on the side, you flip the switch the other way, you have a warm white lantern, directional lantern, which is pretty good. It lights up the table quite well. You turn it off. Actually, there's other lights on here, by the way, but yeah, it's still, uh, it still does work. So this whole thing costs uh, still less than $1.20. Or dollar ten, considering the LEDs and a little bit of work, right? So yeah, and the single battery. 
Um, here it gets roughly around two hours run time and I resistored that back so it gets around six hours run time but a continuously dimming on the single cell so yeah but yeah this is probably a cheap tiny lantern flashlight option so let's push these aside let's bring in some other ones okay these are basically lanterns I created for sustainability um, this was a uh, a dollar not a dollar ram I should say Walmart solar lantern you know your stake one right so I changed it I did some resistor work, increased, somehow I added another resistor and increased the brightness slightly to the um, the circuit center, which I think is like a boost thing that they have, because it only has a tiny nickel metal, nickel cadmium cell into it, so uh, I think a AAA, so I replaced it with a, a AAA nickel metal high drive to give it a better runtime uh, through the solar cell on top. So you, you set this in a tree or inside on a table, a charge up during the day, I put a switch on so you can turn it off, and uh, the only thing is when you shine it in the light, It'll, if I turn the light on, it'll turn off, obviously, because of the solar panel. Put a lens on it so you can set it on a table, basically, or hang it in a tree or in, in a tent. And you know, it'll roughly run about five hours, four hours, maximum charge, gradually dimming. And I find with these things, they tend to shut off right away. So anywhere safe to say three to four and a half hours runtime. Uh, you know, again, tea light level candle or you know, candlelight level light, a such thing. It's just a warm white LED they place in there, and it charges up every day from the uh, the sun. So yeah, so these things are sustainable for camping. Just lay them on the table or at the ground, charge up each each day, and you have you have basic light every night. Uh, same thing applied to these. Also came from Walmart. They have a larger solar cell. They have two LEDs. I replace them with warm LEDs. Uh, all I did with that is put a lanyard on it, <clears throat> and there's a switch on the back. So yeah, so these are pretty bright. These are probably closer to maybe five lumens. I just don't like the, the hard lighting and the refraction that it gets from the, the, the uh, textured lens because it creates all these artifacts. I don't like that as something, but it's still, it does a trick. It's warm white and you can hang it on a tree and it lights up a table or you know, a campsite and the sunlight will charge it up each day. And once the sun comes on, it shuts itself off and it charges. And then when the sun goes down, it comes back on. So this is just another little thing I made for camping and you know travel trips stuff like that it's quite light or you can mount on a wall or just charge it up at night by laying it flat like that bringing your tent laid on lay it flat on, on the uh, on a table something like that and it lights up an area for you so yeah so these are kind of cool they're, but they're getting a little bigger than the micro ones uh, the last two I got to go through right now is two that were bought people are probably familiar with these right uh, let's see the so shine this is the one that has a rechargeable lithium ion i think it's it's a 14 500 in there and it has a usb output but the, the current on these things are pretty much ridiculous the usb output is useless it doesn't charge anything on a phone um you basically come with a switch the only thing i did with this was is resistor it and change the led to an l8351 uh, 3k warm and a bunch of resistors because for some reason i could never had the right resistors for it so all I did was cut back the output slightly, so it increases runtime from the 14500. So yeah, so you get a nice bit of light, and it has three modes, and a blinky, or two modes and a blinky, which we always hate blinkies, but, but yeah, it's a nice high CRI, warm white, and it has a, has a lower and a blinky. So basically these things can be charged with an external solar panel through the port, and it's the size of a hockey puck, so it's well, ideal to have one. Another one is the version that was similar but it takes three AAA batteries inside here instead of rechargeable so it's basically the same idea i put 4k leds in this one just to uh you know so it's more of a neutral white and it has three modes you can't see the camera keeps adjusting but yeah it's got and also has a blinky and a strobe which is common you know high medium low blinky there's medium there's low there's your strobe there's your stupid sos but yeah but it's the same idea. It'll actually uh, fit in, you know, a pocket, pocket thing. Yeah. So this is basically a bunch of small lanterns that I created. So yeah, so the next video up coming up is going to be of the LT1M Mini, which is the, the small version that it has the best of the best of everything. So we'll see you soon for that video. Have a good night, everyone.